Ah, <sighs> it's another beautiful day, and we are finally back as playing Henry. My days. It has been what three episodes of Teresa. It's really good to be back in Henry's body. Before we do anything though, if you do enjoy this playthrough, make sure to go down below, leave a like on the video, comment to help out with the algorithm, appease the algo gods, and also appease the All Father Odin! Although Henry probably doesn't get Odin's blessing because he's a Christian. We are today going to start off by eating from the pot. A couple of things you guys taught me. Rotate Henry by doing K or L and we can and now we can finally see that beautiful shield we got from Teresa. It has hearts on it though. I wanted something cool. Not is that hearthstone? No, it's not hearts. Okay, I'll take the shield. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> we are gonna head on over though and maybe do a little bit of a, a tournament to start the day of right. We haven't seen action in a long time. Teresa's fighting skill is subpar even to Henry's fighting skill. Let's see if we can put another Vader into the tournament. Maybe we already done that. Is there any work for carpenters here? Oh, we can ask for our friends. Work here for carpenters. In this day and age, I'm glad I can support myself. Not what I asked. Uh, okay. Nothing, nothing more about the tournament though. We can head on over to the tournament place and maybe ask the person in charge. Come on, Bevels! Yeah! Oh, finally back on horseback as well. Don't have to run all the way around like Teresa has. We are finally lifted from the curse of the big black nose. Big schnauzer. She doesn't have a black nose, but she's a nose nonetheless. Good day, guards. I have used my torch every night I've been here since the day I was fined. Almost thrown into the death penalty for not having a torch while fast traveling. How do you expect me to do that? I can't control myself when I'm fast traveling. Excuse me. Coming through. Please say there's a tourney soon. I want to fight. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's supposed to be one. But maybe he's going to around the corner. Want to enroll in the tourney? Like to enroll in the big tournament. You'll have to wait a few days until Sir Hanush announces another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lodgings and wait for the next tourney. I'd like to take. Certainly. I don't. Uh, wait. What did he say? I'd like to take lod. Certainly. Have you got the coin? Wait. I, I don't. I don't have the. What? Am I bro? Farewell. Henry, how much coin do we have? Gro Thirty-five groschen. In the helvete. Armor? Do we have any armor we can sell? No, we do have some other... At least one set of glass. Does Pavel have anything on him? Any valuables? Let's see. Oh yeah, he definitely has some. And he don't need it. Alright, let's head on over to the traders and see if we can cash in some of our money. Yeah. And since we don't have an abundant amount of money, I will actually try and just skip the dates myself, maybe? We'll see how much we get for our goods. Not sure who will take these stolen goods off me, though. They're not really stolen, but... We need a random trader. First, we'll go into the weaponsmith, though. Or the armor. To get rid of our... Goods, extra armor. Let's see. A uh, bell-shaped cattle hat. I'm gonna take all of this. Uh, I guess I can take uh, the common, these ones as well. Glass goblet, take all three. Horse hide, cow hide, boar hide, red deer hide. Sheepskin, silver goblet, spade. I'm gonna keep that one. And I think we are also gonna take this axe. All right. Let's see. We got a good, good price for this armor, lad. Hello. We can also sell back our, one of our shields, can't we? Let's talk trade. Sell armor. Yes. And sell this one. These ones. Silver ring. We're already up to 500 groschen. Very nice. 
He doesn't take weapons though. Other items doesn't take that either. We're gonna hang on the price. Four ninety nine. Come on, make it five hundred. We got a deal. Sure. Very good at haggling. Fire, fire. Okay, you know what? Let's try it. Six ten. Should get him to drop his um, or add his amount a bit. That's too much. Okay, he goes up to what? Five thirty five. He's over halfway angry. You know what? I don't have the stomach for this. For that. that is 36 groschen more than we would have gotten. Carrots and apples, pick. All right, will you buy the sheepskin off me? Let's talk trade. Sell. She'll take the cooked horse meat. She'll pay 0 0.1 groschen. <laughs> what was this one? Six groschen. All right. Haggle on the price. Always haggle on the price, guys. Always. I. I want six point nine. What about this? We get it. All right. You know what? I'll meet you at six point five instead of six point three. I just made we'll zero point two groschen. Let's go. All right. Oh, I think who I can go to. Yeah. This guy over here, the trader in his actual shop. Surely he'll take a lot of it. Probably give me a better price as well. Is that weapons lying outside? Nice torches and axes, yeah. Hello, my best friend. I'm honored that a knight such as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk trade. That's what I'm here for. Other. We can sell the boar hide. This one. Oh, we can sell all of it. Hundred and thirty nine Groshan, not bad, not bad. Will he take yes he will? And we can also sell one of our assassin blades and one of our Lord Bl Shields. Hundred and ninety three. Let's hang on a price. Let's talk about naturally. Yeah, I want to make it at least two hundred, brother. Come on now. Two thirty. Satisfied? That is a good price. You're a right pinch. Well, I'm sorry then. At least you're over 200. That's exactly what I wanted. Very well. Reputation gained. I'd rather not make as much money and gain reputation. At least now we've gotten rid of all of our stuff. I should probably. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for the log logins. I know it's 120 erosion, but listen, pals. We're gonna make that money back with our price. But before we do, though, I am gonna wait a little bit so I'm not, uh, feel like a pig yet. We're just gonna wait for... Ah, eight hours. That'll probably help. Get our nutrition back to, like, below 100 at least. Alright, we can probably end it there. Come on now. Okay, nutrition is good. Talk to this guy. I want to enroll in the like to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get logins and wait like for the next one. How Sir, long? Have you got the coin? How much? 120. Yeah. You are. Okay, so remember how much we paid for it. 120, and then we have to pay the enrollment stake, which is what? 65? So that brings us at like 185. And whatever we win, unless we keep it, as long as we can sell it, Wait one more hour. As as least as we can sell it for more than 185, we've gained money. Hopefully, we'll be able to sell it for way more. But I guess time will tell. That is if we win. God bless you. Want to roll in 20? All right. 60. Okay, or 60. Here you are. I'll write your name down. Henry, you said. 180. And I need to weapon you choose. Um. Short sword and shield? Should we try that? Hunting sword and shield. Short sword and shield. Sword, sword we'll try that good. out. May the Lord Win the tournament if you can. I've already done that, but I'm back. I am the reigning champion. This round will be Alder Fryer, a man at arms from St. Divish of Townburg's garrison. Woo! Who will measure his skills against Henry of Skelets? From the company Why does he not put any passion into my announcement? Come on now! I swear, this introduction always takes way too long. 
You ain't gonna do nothing, pal. Look at you. I can see you're scared. Yeah. Blue lips. Blue lips. Come on, then. Come on. Yeah. Huh? How did that feel? Right between the legs. Wanna have no family now. Yeah. And then... Bonk right in the head. Oh, nice. You blocked one for once. You're not completely useless. Come on, then. Huh? Oh, no. I forgot to spam the attack button. Yeah! And then... Yeah! Bonk! Right in the head. Bonk! Come on, then. What you gonna do, huh? Now, huh? what you gonna do, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You'll do nothing! Bonk! Just stab me, Wabby! Yeah, how did that feel? Huh? You can't catch me. I'm too good. I'm too good. I'm too good. Give me a challenge. This guy's a brat. Are oh, you looking to the side, huh? Can't even face me now. What is it? <sighs> All right. Change weapons for the second bout. We will witness a duel with longsword. <laughs> All right. Nice. Patient. Right in the face! Bonk! Stabby wabby! Didn't work. Oh, nice! Huh? What did he say? I say, Bonk! Stabby wabby! Fail! Come on. Ah, oh, I forgot to hit the attack button. Come on then, huh? Come on then, I'm right in front of ya! Do something about it! Oh. Huh? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Huh? Huh? Bonk! I'm done playing with my food. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. Come on, then. Make a move. <laughs> it's time to eat. Who's going to carry the swords when you're dead? Come on. Oh, cute. That was cute. Couldn't catch that now, could ya? Come on in, come on in. Right in front of ya. You gonna do something? <laughs> oh, how do I drop my weapon? Let's do the fist to Captain Z. I'll give him another chance. I'll give him another chance. Come on, that was too easy. Too easy. In this round, I shall proceed. To the next round! Oh, really? Like that I have to explain that the victory proceeds. Ooh, short, short, and shields. Now will be Henry of Skelets <sighs> from the company of Sir Radzig Kobla. Hey! I guess they didn't like Castle trash talkers back in these days. Let us wish the combatants luck. Thank you, thank you. Calm down, calm down. I can literally hear the flags. The first duel may commence. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Yep. All right. Let's get at it then. Oh, oh okay. Off to a bad start. Okay. Hey, right, stop pushy wishy. Not cool. Come on then. Do something. Make the move. Make the move, buddy. Yeah! 
uh, spinning attack. Bonk! Stabby wabby! Feely waily! Oh, he's too good at that. I can't clinch with this guy. Come on then. Come on then. Spinny winny! Bunk! You don't they don't like the bunks. I'm telling you. Wow, okay. All right, come on then. Oh, come on, stop slapping me! Hey, look, your helmet is crooked. Lost your ball. Yes. Did you lose your throat? How did he block that? Block it with his head. Spinning. Bunk! You don't like to bunk now, do you? Whoa, what did he do with the drunken sailor? Oh, stab me right in the throat. That's not okay, buddy. Yeah, what, what, what's the matter? Lost your balls? Yeah! Huh? Huh? Are you the, are you the last one, Peter? No, you're not even Peter. Where's Peter? Ah, long swords again. And now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. We will witness a duel with long swords. Long swords. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, too quick, buddy. Hey, 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 who's that? Who's that? Calm down. It's just a tournament. It's not actual fighting. Always bunk them in the top of the head. They don't like that. Oh, I don't like being stabbed in the stomach either. It kind of feels bad. God. How does that feel, huh? No! What's the matter? Lost your balls? What? You gotta lose them now! <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Boom! Your balls are gonna be gone, buddy. Huh? You gonna do something? Huh? You gonna do something? Well, oh, you're too screwed now. What? Well, let's uh, shit yourself. Yeah. Okay, so now it's your turn. Very nice. Curse it. Hey. Eh. Eh. Come on, now you got your confidence back. Start attacking me. He's almost dead today. What? What did you say? Why? What's up? What's up? Why are you making those weird noises, huh? 
Yeah! 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 I'm the best ever! Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! Bring them all at once! All at once! Nobody can stop me! I'm the best ever! Oh. Right. It's the finalist. Who is this guy? Henry of Scullets from the company of Sir Ratzik Kabbalah. Yay! Anniversary will be Benesh of Lashim. Catchpole to the Sasso Bailiff. Catchpole. Wish the combatants luck. Nice. Our first fight will be with Chotors and Shields. All is prepared for the first Jew. Our combatants will demonstrate their skills with short sword and shield. Short sword and shields. That's me, baby. <laughs> Okay. Cute. Yeah, that's what it that's what your mama said. <laughs> Bunk. Come on now. They don't like to be bunked in the head. Oh, uh. Hey, nice. I'm getting good at this. Lost your win. Yes. Whoa, 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 Bowser, Bowser, chill out. Jeez. Okay, so just reactive strikes from that one. Nice and easy. He almost dead, too. Spinning. How do you make that noise without opening your mouth? That's impressive. Spinning. Yeah, you didn't like that now, did ya? Huh? Huh? What? What? what, what see John Cena? Wow. Can't see him. There he is. Oh, axe and shield. Let's go. For the second bout. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with This one is for you, Baffish Naffin. Whatever your name is, Lordy Wardy. Okay, we gotta be very careful with this guy, especially at the beginning. How do you know? No. <sighs> you had uh, enough of my bunking! Oh, come on. Come on then. Come on then. Do something. Come on then. Do. How's that feel, huh? Fuck it. Hey, no swearing. You're supposed to be a mentor for the kids. Gotcha. Where are you going, huh? Hey. Yeah, huh? And then, fuck. What? He dodged a bunk. I don't know how I dodged that bunk, but it did. Hey. I bet you this guy is Swedish. You got me what? Present? Oh, come on! Oh, nice. What's the matter? Lost your ball. Yes. Oh. He took him from me. And told me I'll get them back if I win you. Bunk! His health hasn't even started to deteriorate. Oh, 
Spinning. Hey, we got him, baby. We are the victor. Sure, better ours. You better give me my gift. You better be a um, thousand million buckaroos. I forgot. We get 400 groceries from winning the tournament alone, ladies, don't we? Good men and good wives. You have just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tourne, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. Hanush was it, not Banish. Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzi Kobila. Yay! His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Yay! Let's go, baby! Shut up, dog. Mutt! Shut mutt. Shut your mutt. <laughs> Get it? Nobody left. Okay. Better have my money, boy. Otherwise, he's gonna have pro. Get that out of my way. Oh. Hey, you trying to avoid me? You did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're Press well 400. Satisfied. We certainly am. Thank you. Everybody has their stuff in the pockets. So that's kind of nice. Armor. So we got some new. Um. Uh, these ones are they better than what I have? So I currently have Warhorse Paldrons. Those are 12. These are 20. All right. Well, equip that. And then we can get, go ahead and get rid of the rest. Yeah. Make way. Make way, you infidels. You peasants. Poor people. Hate poor people. Disgusted. Get our armor repaired and then we'll look to uh, a mission to start. That's what I want to do. God save you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk trade. Let's see. These. Haggle the price. He wants to give us a grand Let's total of. Aye. He wants to give us 0 0.2 Grosjean! That's a sum what the hell, man? This guy. May the Lord watch over you. How much you want to fix all my stuff? Sure. 375. No way. Are we agreed? It'll take more than... See now, I knew we'd come to an end. Ooh, nice. All right, shiny and good. Come get them. Let's have a little gander though. Quest log. We have main quest courtship. Go to see Teresa or a friend in need. Find work from Matthew and Fritz. Aside, or we have main. Find out where the limping bandit lives. An Avenger. Ooh. So, I, I know, one of you guys told me that one of the most epic missions ever is, uh, apparently, when you try and find the Limping Bandit, there is, like, a side quest or whatever popping up. So, concerned that that might take longer than we have time for today, I am gonna start, uh, by going back to, uh, Peshek. Uh, we're gonna start that mission, finding the Limping Bandit, in the beginning of the next episode. So that we get, like, a whole episode to do one quest. That's gonna be yeah. epic. Gotta make some progress there, otherwise we're gonna be stuck here forever. I swear, this world is a world that I can literally spend hours upon hours and get nothing done. We've gotten a DLC done, we've gotten some progress done. I'm proud of ourselves. Yeah. Now Peshek owes me some money, don't he? I bet him a hundred uh, groschen I would win. And where is this? Where is he? Little criminal, there he is. God be I want to bet on who wins. I want my winnings from the tournament, Vager. My winnings. All right. Here's your winnings. Damn it. There'll be another tournament in a week or so. 
Are you going to give me a chance to win? We'll see. I'll do better. Okay, we, we, we will do that. Goodbye. Once we know that there is a tournament active. Uh, Matt? You can Wait stay. Stay. All right. Let's see. Vengeance! Find the other foot pads from new and off. So is that actually marked out on the map? It used to be like kill the bandit leader and whatnot. This courtship, find work. Activities, beggar's feast, kill the camp leader, this one. I wanna do that one. I'm feeling I'm murderous today. Ooh, I remember those guys. Is that really a mission though? Wait, 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 wait. Let's see what Teresa wants first. Because apparently there's another. What the heck happened here? We went limpy wimpy. There is another interaction to be had. God be with you. Don't you want uh, to do something together again? Don't you want to do something together? That sounds wonderful. Everyone says the broken wheel. I want you to take me there. Have you ever been to it? Me and my father used to stop at the tavern in the glade when he was taking the flower into town, but he never wanted to take me inside. Um, this might that be why not? It sounds good. If we have to, we have to. But don't forget. All right. I, I won't do that now. I want to see some action, baby. I just saw action, though. Go see Teresa. Oh, I want to do something else. You know what? We're going to start. Quest log, main, mysterious ways, show. Where is that? We're gonna fast travel over there. Oh, foe, fight! Now we'll have another bout. I won't be robbed of my winnings by some lousy. Oh, guy. it's you! Hey! Okay, easy, easy. Just like in the tournament. Bunk! Yeah. Just like in a tournament. This is just play pretend. Get out of here, Pebbles. Don't get wounded. Shut up. Oh, come on. Sore loser, huh? Can't wait to murder you! Number of you frontier! Come on then! Do something, you little brat! You gonna do something? No, you're not gonna do nothing because you're a little brat. Yeah. Shut your mouth, boy. Ah, how did that feel, huh? Shut up. Hey, ooh, is that mortal wound or something? Yeah, it is. Can I? Uh, can I use bandage while in combat? You can't use in combat. Makes sense. What's the matter? Come on! Well, I'm kind of dying because you stabbed me right in the throat. Again! Ooh. 
How much health does he have? Curse it. We're gonna die before we finish this. Oh wait, does he have poison or something? Okay, but he's almost dead. Just one more strike. Come and get it. One more perfect land strike. Yes. Uh, is there anything I can take? Other. I'm not in combat. Bleeding, is there? Oh no! I can't take nothing, can I? I got nothing to take. I'll take it all. You have died today. Are you serious? Gonna take me back to before the tournament. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Kingdom Come Deliverance for you. I will not do that tournament again today. Be on my pebbles. Maybe we can fight him again. Trying to fast travel. We're going up here anyways. We can do that, uh tournament again oh yes gonna be able to fight again okay now we'll have another bout i won't be robbed of my winnings by some lousy <laughs> kunda kunda whatever that means <laughs> Bunker. Watch out for his blade. Oh, no, again. Okay, just just calm down, buddy. Just take him out. Yes, thank you. All right, so we ought to, uh, we have to take him out without getting hit. By the gods, I took him out the first time. All right, oh, my horse can't get in here. Are you serious? Sure, I'm fast travel over here. Hey! Hey! Jesus Christ! Hey, he won't—he won't help you today, buddy. Deity. Gotta be very careful with this guy. Jeez! Oh, you hit dog! Enough of life, have you? 
You hit dog, now you're gonna die. <laughs> Matt is a very bad fighting dog, though. He ain't doing nothing. How about you do something instead of just standing there, doggo? How does he block that? Curse it. Incredible. Had enough. Yes. That's why I'm gonna kill ya! What? I don't care about the disobedience. Get away from me, dog. Yeah, what is that? Quitting. No. Who's this guy? Just walking up on us. Are you the one quitting, perhaps? Halfway. Oh, almost dead. Okay. What's don't don't Come get on. too greedy. Oh. Huh? Huh? Who's the champion now? Mercy kill. Ain't no mercy with that. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. Ah, uh, we're taking all of it. Let's see, any of this considered stolen? Yes, I guess a lot of it is. Black Peter, more like blacked out Peter, cause he dead. Drop in the bush here, nobody gonna find him ever. Yeah, you lie there, my sweet little child. Hello, pebbles. Too loud at the mount. Oh, really? All right. Well, I'll waltz my way over to the to the house then. I'll just put it all in the chest because apparently, if it's there for a couple of days, then it's not considered stolen anymore, and then we can sell it. Wow! What a turn of events. We survived the first time. We beat him, but we were poisoned. So I guess I should start bringing some po poison resistant stuff with me. If that ever happens again. What a bad loser, though. Not only did he have to ambush me, but he also tried to use a poison sword. Hey, I can see you ain't carrying nothing, uncle. Don't pretend. A little treasure chest. Ain't nobody gonna find this. Inventory armor. Everything. So when it's X, that it means that it's broken, yeah. Oh, we have the page sword now. Okay. Now we also have this. Okay, we'll come back here in a couple of days. Whew, what a journey! Main mysterious ways. Yes. Pebbles! Where are you, my boy? There you are. Daddy's been looking all over for you. Worried sick. Just fast travel over there real quick. So... One of you guys told me that I should be on the lookout for the priest. So if I 
encounter or see a priest or get told to go talk with the priest I'll just not start that right now because that is going to be something we are going to be saving for a later time this episode though we started with a tournament we won we made lots of money and then we died in there and it was all for nothing what a day okay find out where the can hey what who am i supposed to ask good day to you I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Ah, oh, nice. Take care now. By the edge of the village. Okay. That was easy enough. Thought I was gonna have to check out every single house in this village. Ask for a limpin' bandit. Oh, what's going on here? Is that him? He's not limping. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanish's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz, and I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Huh. Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Oh. Oh my God. Sakra. Oh. Nothing's ever easy. <laughs> I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. All right, well, this just turned extremely interesting. Find out more about Limpi Limpilush. Lubush. Who was Limpy Lubosh? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. A scoundrel, that's what I'm telling what you. They're all him. scoundrels. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Instead of fights, punch-ups? like that word. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Hmm. Did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? Hmm. None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. When was the when body did you found? Find the body? 
And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Probably kill him first. <laughs> Who can teach me how to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Another thing about Lubosh. Ah, uh, ask all they can. Visit the scribe. All right, folks, nothing to see here. All right, at least now they get to see it. Uh, find out about, more about the limping bandit. Scribe. Mighty than a sword. All right, Pebbles, let's go. Let's go to school. Why do you want to play video games to learn how to weed? Can't weed properly. What was that scribe? I want to see. How difficult is it to learn how to read? Because uh, apparently learning how to read is an advantage when reading maps and stuff, no? Is this where he lives? Good health to you. I'd like to learn how to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my truck. We can get right. started. I don't want to waste time. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though. And set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces. Ah, a couple of days of reading. If indeed time is of the essence. Well, I don't have enough money. I'll come back when I have. Oh, we have 35. Oh, come on. Um, and dialogue. Let's see what we can sell to him, though. Oh, pebbles. You got some stuff on you. You can sell another this, this guy. I only buy the ancient maps. Makes sense, I guess. Is there another trader nearby, though? Uh, trader, but that is the guy that I'm at, right? I just don't want to act. I don't want to go near the church. I don't want to activate no extra quest. That's the scribe, so there should be a trader right. Oh. <laughs> Hardcore parkour! Let's go! Are you a trader? Villager. Trader. My respect. Take care now. Ooh, he won't, he'll, he'll buy it. Probably won't give us a great price, but honestly, I just, just need a little bit of money. Your wealth? Trader's wealth, 280. Oh. Uh, let's take away these. You'll get 212. Okay, this one we can haggle with. I'd like to discuss naturally. I want almost all your money. Are we agreed? 
It'll take more than that. All right, so. All right, very nice. Thank you for your business, mate. And I will put the rest back to this guy. Uh, move to horse, move to horse. What else did I take? Other... Let's see, horse hide. All right, very nice. Let's see if we can learn how to read in five minutes. Five minutes and some pocket change. I'm back. Got to get some money. Certainly. How much money did he want, though? He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Oh, so I don't actually have to do anything nice. Wait, Maybe... lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to. It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Read the book. One day. Con Go back to the scribe. Okay. One day, a countryman going to the nest of his goose found there. Uh, egg all yellow and flickering when he took it up it, it's almost like I can't read it was heavy as lead and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him but he took it on the sec on second thoughts and soon found his delight that it was an egg of pure gold every morning the E meh something occurred. The same thing occurred. And he soon became rich by selling his eggs as he grew rich and grew greedy and thinking to get at once all the gold the goose could give, he killed it and opened it only to find nothing. Whew! Chase! I read the book. Read the book. Wonderful. So tell me. There was something about some fellow and a goose. There was something. Ah, well, the main thing is you've managed to read the book. The rest is just practice. Only through a careful reading will you uncover the real meaning of the text. No book is written on a mere whim and without purpose. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite. And <laughs> I can barely read, now I'm going to read Latin. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. You're a clever lad. You'll manage. All right. Wait, where? Where was the last in book, you fool? Wait, where did it say the... What? 
Oh, there it is. Ursul est tam ut non auquiapra prusit. Libri multi amigistri snut. Puimitus urtu est quin pasuki verbasi faldumri disiti. What? Hey! Hey! Where are you? Mr. Scribe Man? I read the page. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Uh, Prusit. No, oh, Pru Prusit. I remember Prusit. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, ups, non uh, liquere parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right oh, away. I know Latin Thank now. you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. All right. Well, we learned how to read today. We won a tournament that didn't count. We did kill a bandit or a tournament competitor turned bandit because we were too good. And we learned how to read. Now, next episode... We're going to go ahead and really focus all of our might on finding out more about the Limpy Lubush. And uh, as far as rumors say, there's a pretty cool side quest with a priest near the church here. So that's exactly what we're going to do next episode. If this episode gets 200 likes, I will release it. I'm holding it hostage. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to like the video, comment, to turn your place in audience all. While you're down there, make sure to hit the subscription button to never miss a single Kingdom Come Deliverance video. On that note, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Vikings!